Good morning. October 15th, Saturday. Off to another Cars and Coffee, this one in Miramar. Hosted by a couple good friends of ours. So, a bit early in the morning. I'm still asleep. But, uh, Sean's up in LA, so we'll be doing this one solo. And, uh, yeah. I was going to take the GMC, but why not? It's nice and cool out. It's cold enough in San Diego where you can wear a jacket with shorts. So, I'm taking the M5 and yeah, let's get to it. So yeah, we'll let her warm up a little bit. Uh, car from 2002, likes to take its time. The little throw out bearing, a little bit of a clutch that needs to be replaced, but hey, still works, so why not? Whew. All right, that's uh, you're ready to go. Uh, just realized I'm almost out of fuel, fantastic. So, a quick stop by Shell and then uh. Get to the car meet and see what's happening. Should be some pretty cool cars there. Uh, auto salon that we're going to always has pretty insane cars that they're detailing or wrapping or just uh, just works of art. And they're, the jobs they do themselves are works of art. But uh, yeah, so uh, see you at the gas station and then we'll continue on. So freeways are a little busy this morning. Uh, kind of weird in San Diego for Saturday at 8 30, 8.40. Uh, so anyway, taking a little back way. Right by uh right by MCAS Miramar. A lot nicer, two lane. And you never know. Might be something pretty cool. know about old BMWs, 46s, E39s. Sensors can be the devil. And luckily, if you just do your research, it can be a little $16 piece. Uh, this check in the light. Uh, it's coolant temp sensor. And it's temperamental. It goes away, comes back. If I don't drive it for long periods of time, but, you know, 13-year-old cars, sensors, wiring, you know, the wiring stays pretty good, but the sensors start to go bad. And it's, it's something everyone freaks out about, but you really shouldn't. I mean, the parts can range anywhere from 16 to 50 bucks, and that's, you know, a hell of a lot better if you have a little mechanical knowledge instead of spending, you know, three, four, five hundred dollars at a dealership for a, you know, $20 piece to get online. But, uh... Yeah, I mean, just if anyone has these cars, is looking to buy one of these cars, it's not that big of a deal. They're not that expensive. Um, but anyway, getting almost there, so we'll bring it back when we get there.
There's some really nice out. Aurora? I can't say. Aurora? Uh, <laughs> that over in the corner? A, uh, a Panagmi? Aurora? Oh, new NSX. Yeah? Oh, let's get a look at that. Oh, yeah. Pulling in. I thought you were in here. Oh, doggy! <laughs> hey, I met you guys. Yep, you're the one with the fight. What's up, man? How you been? I never met you. You didn't make it out that day. You are the one with the Viper. M2. Brand new NSX. What's up, man? Good to see you. The awkward white man handshake. <laughs> oh, this one's pretty. There's like three people yelling. <laughs> <laughs> That's the coolest Tesla I've ever seen. <laughs> straight, straight back. Straight back. Straight back. And then a real NSX. We have auto armor and elite finished detailing. Uh, some pretty wicked work in here. Let's see if we can look at some more. GT4 getting ready to get wrapped. GT3 RS getting ready to get wrapped. Targa 4S. M3. Oh, two GT4s. This one I believe is still for sale. Wes is Audi S4, fast as hell. And you cannot not love these. Rhino GX. No idea what the hell that thing is. The good guys car show? Yeah, so I mean I can. <laughs> Little R34 GTS. Koenigsegg.
blue carbon is insane. I hope you guys can see it. Suppose our buddy Nick's coming down with his supercharged Z92. Uh, Wednesday's right at his house. We'll get a actual um, personal view of the car. He's got some really nice stuff. And here's Nick's M3. Oh yeah, Nick's M3 with super red What's up, everybody? Say what? What's up, buddy? I saw it, dude. I saw it. Uh, no, fuck, I'm just here. 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 I'm Beautiful car, just traded in his M5. Thing's beautiful.